All right, what do you want to know? I'll take questions for a little bit. <laughs> How am I? <laughs> uh, loaded question. Favorite ground in the series? Um, probably eighth MS team. Um, no, the song Dark Medicine will probably never come out. Do I think Phil Elverum lights me? No. I'd love it if he did. Um, Ultra Club is not going to be on streaming ever. There's too many samples. Can't get that cleared. Never happened. Um, hmm. Not doing collaborations at the moment. I get asked about features a lot. Uh, why is that song not dropping? I mean, it might drop. I don't know. It's not really um on the schedule <laughs> right now, and I don't um I don't know what happened with that beat. I don't even know who made it. Might have been Virus and the Antidote, or like a Sesh producer or something. Um, I've not heard Cemetery and Ghostman's song. I should probably listen to that. Um, that gross main song that I have is, uh, um, that's not one of my songs. Here's what happened with that song. We were supposed to play the song that was out. You know what I mean? At that song that, I, I forget the name of it. I don't know the name of that song. We were, um, um, we were supposed to play that and then NetArb dropped like live and then at our live started playing the new one this unreleased one that Clance Casino produced and uh um and, and that's how that song got out but I, I don't know what's up with that um hmm no the recording's not lost I just I just don't really know I don't have anything to say about MG that MGK article except that I think um let me lift that up because um I feel like I know the person who wrote that. Oh, I guess not. Um I might have known someone who worked on it or something like that. I don't know. We don't have to talk about him. Actually, this is a uh, That'll probably be the only time he's ever brought up again. That's the last I'll say about that. Um, Misery Club stuff. No, I don't. Um, there's beats. You know, um, again, I, I write really slow, so it's hard for me to start any anything that's not already in the works. You know what I mean? Even if you're someone that I reach out to, you know, it'll be like a year later before I actually work on the, the song. Just how it is. Um... Rip Eternal, t texted me about three weeks ago, and I think I forgot to get back to him. <laughs> Am I doing any more stuff with GCW? Man, I hope so. I don't know what it would be. I'd be very down, though. You know, why do I do limited runs on merch? Still, I'm trying to do like rapid answers. Um, I do limited runs on merch because I I generally don't like doing pre-orders. I prefer to uh, to just be able to ship stuff immediately or, or have Dark Venison ship stuff immediately, you know. Um, and, uh, and, and that's why, you know. And I don't want to um, – the way Dark Medicine works is that they generally will, like, 
you know, they'll handle the production and stuff. So they're, you know, the out of, out of pocket cost is really on them. So if I can just get everything made and then get it live immediately, you know, no one owes anyone money and we know exactly like how much money is to be made on the drop. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> what do you want to know about Blade? I like Blade a lot. Uh, my favorite album from him. Man, I don't know. Let me look. Oh, this is the thing. I don't know um, songs, song titles, or album names ever. So if you ever ask me what my favorite um you know my favorite songs are by someone i'm gonna have to go on my phone and look like to remind myself just what is what it is um i don't i i'm really sorry about that i like the one that working on dying produced um the um red light is that what it's called yeah i like red light um or no, we're, wait, did they produce Red Light? No, they did the other one. They did Working on Dying. Sorry. I like that one a lot. I do like Red Light a lot. I like the D&G album a lot. Um, and then, all right, here's another thing. Like, if I'm working on music, if I'm, like, in the middle of an album, I'm not listening to Blade or any new music um, that's, like, like new or anything that like might seep its way into um into what i'm doing subconsciously or not you know um just don't want to do it so i'll listen to like old stuff or stuff that would never you know something that would never even if it subconsciously um was in my head and then found its way into one of my songs, it would never be like a one-to-one -one correlation where you would be like, oh, that's just that. You know what I mean? That's like something I had to learn how to do over time. I don't know. <laughs> um, what happened in the collab with Ugly Mane? I don't think that it existed. I don't know. Uh, no, Dark Medicine is not Dove's label. It's just, uh, um, I don't know. Northeast Pennsylvania based, um, merch fulfillment and creative services studio. Um,. Um, okay. I would like to, um, I don't know what LSP is, Tyrese. If that's like a setup, I guess I, you, you got me. Um, but if it's like an abbreviation for something, spell it out. Old music on streaming, yeah, probably if I could find the, um, no, I don't know anything about LSP. I'm sorry. Um, I know nothing about that. You'll be shocked to learn how little I know about anything over the next few weeks on Twitch. I was watching uh, HGTV today and yesterday. I like the show Hometown. I told John Simmons that that's like if... Uh, Mumford and Sons was a TV show. <laughs> um, I thought Twin Peaks season three was the best. Um, of the three, and and one of my favorite things ever. It's it's really crazy when when stuff, um. 
you know, when there's insane anticipation for something and then it delivers and like it, it becomes your favorite thing, favorite thing in the, the moment. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's that. Man. How's this going? Is this all right? I know it's a little aimless. Next time I'll have um, a little bit more direction. But we'll see how it goes. I, uh, um, man, around, around the time with Spiderweb, I, I was working on a song with, or a, an EP with Broback, and I, I don't really know what happened with that. I, it's probably my fault. You know, sometimes that happens too, although I've been getting better at, at just not taking on projects, um that I, that I can't finish, you know, um, and he's, man, he is so good, and he's gotten even better, I have a list of people I want to collab with, um, I want to do a song with Fishnark and Field Medic, <laughs> Really like to work with Corbin again. Um, like to do something with Teen Suicide. Like to do something with Corbin and Swan Lingo together. I'd like to do something with uh, Sky Ferreira. Um, I'd like to do something with Richard Thompson. I'd like to do something with Will Oldham, with Phil Elvrum, um, Julian Baker. Blade, Ethel Kane, Cold Cave, Bones, Father, um, Yeah, I'd love to work more with, with Cremation Lily. He's one of the... There's a few people that I've, um, you know, really, really stayed in touch with. People I, like, like I talk to every day, you know. I, it's not the people that I've worked with the most or anything like that. It, you know, I'm doing a, a lot of work with Darcy Bayless right now. Um, but we don't talk every day. You know, me and Doves don't talk every day. We do a lot of work together, but we're, you know, we're busy. I talk to John Simmons every day. I talk to Zubin almost every day. I talk to Cremation Lily almost every day. Those are probably the, the big three, you know? Um, all right. Yeah, I mean, there's also, like, yeah, I should have Jan design some stuff for me. Obviously, I want to work with Doves more. I want to work with Darcy more. I'd like to work with, you know, Young Thug, <laughs> Uzi, Ghana, Lil Baby. Who doesn't, though?
I have thought about streaming, uh, bringing in GVC people for this. Listen, I couldn't get the audio coming out of your right headphone when this started, so give me like a couple more weeks to <laughs> figure out how to how to get other people on. I I liked Young Young Thug's new record. It not it's not what I was expecting, but I, I thought it was good. I'm not going to be streaming video games for now. It's not part of the plan. Um. You know, maybe, maybe someday, but, um, right now I'm just trying to, if I did do that, it would just be like a random day to test it. And if I did, I'd be playing Red Dead and I'd be playing, um, um, Fire Pro. That's it. I'd be playing Fire Pro and, uh, and Red Dead. I haven't listened to Slow Christ's new album yet. Again, that goes... That's the same thing. You know, I'm not going to steal anything from Young Thug subconsciously. We're, we're just not doing the same thing. Um, I am doing something closer to Slug Christ than I am Young Thug. So I'm, I, I'll am i wait to listen to Slug Christ's new record. You know, I, I do really like Slug Christ a lot, though. He's We haven't worked together. Um, it's just one of those things, you know. When the when the the timing is right, it'll happen. At the same time, I mostly I've been writing really weird stuff. Uh, not weird. It's just like um stuff that would be hard for me to send to someone and and say, you know, match this or like um you know, I don't know. I'm kind of a control freak when it comes to to my music too, you know, and I don't want to um I understand that features are important, but like also I don't know. I don't really want to get into it. Um, I'm not vegetarian or vegan. I was for a while. 12 years, I think. No, I'm not. Uh, what's my age? Um, um, someone online once said that I'm the only person that looks, um, 14 and 40 at the same time. <laughs> The answer is somewhere between that. Um, mm -hmm. What is a writing technique that worked for me? <laughs> um, sorry, I'm seeing some of the moderation going on behind the scenes here and uh, crack me up. And I forget what I was going to ask. What's my first job? I worked at a warehouse, a vitamin warehouse. I sold like supplements stuff. My cousin's husband owned it or like his brother owned it or something like that. He was an in-law. His brother owned it and I was like 15. And uh, I would just like pack boxes, you know, they would come around on a conveyor belt. I would put like packing peanuts in them and tape them shut. Um, mm-hmm what I would do and then I worked at a comic book store and then I um did some marketing work up until I I started doing uh I started doing music full-time and I didn't start doing music full-time until I was you know 27 or something like that like two two or three years ago Um, sorry, I should stop drinking water on this. Another one of my plans to just work on music on here next Tuesday, I'll probably do like a, a um, I'll just like get into how I'm, how I've been making songs 
on my own. Um, there's a lot of pads, a lot of like distorted synth pads and Reese bass, honestly. <laughs> so it'll just be, you know, I'll go into that um, a little bit. And I'll, I'll try and do another another one where I'm, I'm more focused on lyrics uh but i i don't um that one's kind of hard to explain you know i pace back and forth and i just uh um just trying i mean it's more than that you know it's it's word combinations and and sounds and also figuring out what you want to say and how you can say it by using the sounds that you want to be in the song. You know, I'm trying to grow soon, so I probably shouldn't start talking about how I write songs, but I'll get into it. Um, quickly, my day-to-day is like this, generally. And before I get into that, yeah, of course, I, would, you know, the, the popularity of an artist isn't, um, does not, um, really come into the equation for me when it, when it comes to collaborating, um, the only, only time it, it really, really matters is, um, if, uh, if there was like a much larger artist that i i thought was terrible but i could i could steal some of their fans you know then i would get on a song with them um but you know that doesn't one that doesn't really happen um and yeah i don't know you know doves was someone who just emailed me beats at a time when i needed them and 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 look how that worked out you know darcy um darcy uh it's not like he wasn't popular i th- i think he was popular and and he's someone that that fantasy camp showed me um and then through darcy i met sparrow I, you know, Fantasy Camp introduces me to a lot of people, or, or, or shows me a lot of people, um, NetArb's the same way, um, mm-hmm, anyway, my day-to-day is this, I wake up, uh, eat immediately, Go to the gym for like uh, an hour or something. Nothing crazy. And then uh, uh, come home, do whatever like business work I have to do. Shower. We're already at like 2 o'clock now, 2 p.m. And then from like 2.30 for the rest of the day, I'm... I'm either working on music or recording or, um, uh, you know, to be honest, I'm rarely recording. I'm usually writing lyrics or, um, you know, doing business work or something like that, you know? Um, and then at night, man, recently my schedule has been terrible. I'll tell you it. under a lot of stress you know so my um my schedule has been has been pretty bad i've just been working a lot you know it's not not worrying stress just just a lot going on you know um and i haven't read anything in a in a while to be honest um the last book i read was um well, actually, it was last month I finished um, Peter Lavenda's uh, Sinister Forces, the second part. Um, aside from that, I haven't really read. I haven't been reading comics for, like, the past couple months. Um, 
I bought a house a couple months ago and and that kind of derailed everything like just like you know I'm still trying to get back on track from that um anyway (laughs) um I think that's it no I'm not still in Scranton not far from it but how do I practice self-care um you know routines go to the gym um I'm not I'm not a drug guy so that helps you know (laughs) um just like um do i drink wine before bed no i'll have like a a a drink or something like that like a or a beer or something a couple beers i have two beers but um yeah wait there was something i did want to answer yeah i'm trying to work on new music with the doves i don't i don't really know what's up with that um Oh, my take on Norm McDonald. Man, I really loved Norm. Um, I really loved Norm McDonald from uh, um, I'm trying to think. Like, it, w- it would have been Howard Stern, like his appearances on Stern is what, what would have introduced me to him. And then, um, yeah, I'm with you, man. I, I, um, I guess his appearances on Stern and then, uh, I used to listen to a lot of Howard Stern when I was watching, like, like, uh, how can I explain this? Not, you know, this would have been like 2000. 10 or something like that 2011 where i like just i i realized like why people liked howard stern like in his prime so i'll go back and listen to old ones and watch like old howard tv things you know i I don't really have too much to say about him or anything like that but um uh but yeah norm stood out there and then obviously his like appearances on letterman and Conan and stuff like that and then I I was really into his um YouTube show or you know the one that got picked up on Netflix right um yeah so I don't know that's what that was said about that Kornikovacs uh it's nothing it's just Anna Kornikova the um tennis player with an X at the end (laughs) you know that's it 